If I could do it, you can do it. And we don't need groups. We don't need to organize. We all just need to talk. And we need to call truth to power. And the more of us do that, the more we're going to see the social change. And the minute they arrest me or attack me, I go to the media. Even if they don't cover my story, I'm going to Twitter. I'm going to use social media, my goddamn self, to be heard if I have to. Because they cannot deny truth. That is what they're scared of. That is what they repress. And we can prove it in a court of law, so keep yelling it. It had been given leaf open, was supposed to have started up the end of June, but then the um, National Energy Board said, no, we need some hydrostatic testing being done on it. Uh, we believe that the whole thing should be hydrostatically tested because it's been shut off for a year, but um, they're only you have to do testing in Kingston and in Montreal. We expect that's going to be anywhere from four to six month delay. Okay. And it costs them millions of dollars a day. So that's a chance again to try and work with our local municipality to make sure there's the proper um, emergency conditions in place. Well, actually, we, we would like to stop. They shouldn't be kept putting bitumen that's toxic through a city with millions of people. Okay. And how will the higher pressure of the bitumen um, increase the risk of spills, in your opinion? Because it's a quarter inch old pipeline that's already had history of 35 spills carrying ordinary conventional crew from the Middle East. The heavy uh, bitumen is going to be increased up from 240,000 barrels a day to 300,000 barrels a day. So the pressure that's been put on that old thin pipeline is in its probably full of cracks already. Okay. So they, and uh, scientists have said that it's not a matter of if there's a spill, it's when, and they believe it'll be within five years. For sure. And what kind of risks do the people of Toronto with a spill pose? Primarily our drinking water, but also the chemicals that they mix with the tar sands in order to um, make it more liquidy so they can put it through. The, uh, the chemicals are those hexane and benzene. Benzene um, cannot be readily, well it can't be removed from our drinking water. Water treatment facilities do not have the capacity to remove benzene from the water. So that means the drinking water in Toronto would be shut down with all the many rivers that uh, Okay. In ravines, and how do you aim to get this project stopped? Uh, continuing to educate people, particularly in the, the fact that um, not only the dangers but the right to know. We don't know what they're going to be, when they're going to be putting through, what they're putting through, whether it be back in oil or bitumen. But we know that they're licensed to put light, medium, and heavy crude oil through it, and yet. Um, we've been told that Enbridge has put um, matters in place where we're not allowed to know. It's for some reason that's secret if there's conditions on that that have been approved. Okay. And, and I mean, there's all the schools that it goes nearby, so if we can raise the issue um, of safety, that's going to be an important factor. Okay, thank you.